Hey folks, Eagles beat reporter Mike K here for NJ.com. I'm at the Novacare Complex where the Eagles just finished up another padded practice on Wednesday. It was not a good practice for Carson Wentz. The quarterback struggled with accuracy throughout the day. Well, he had a couple of really nice throws in red zone drills into Jalen Rager in the open field. Overall, it was just a really lax performance for Carson Wentz. I've, I've, this is my second training camp that I've covered uh, the Eagles. And frankly, it was the worst practice I've seen from Carson Wentz in the two years that I've covered training camp. Now, again, that could mean very, very little. Carson Wentz is known as a gamer. He's not really a practice, you know, perfect quarterback. Uh, he's a guy that does well when the bullets are actually flying. That said, his offensive line really has let him down over the last couple of weeks. They don't look very in sync. That could be a problem, especially when a guy like Andre Dillard is being pushed into his leg by a guy who he outweighs by 70 pounds in Joe Osman. Uh, in other news, major injury, uh, most likely to Jannard Avery. Jannard Avery was in a team drill, went up, rushed up the middle, made a move, and then fell to the ground. Trainers were looking at his right knee. He had to be carted off the field. Doug Peterson, uh, Jake Elliott, and several other teammates you know, consult him before he was taken off the field. We'll keep an eye on that. I don't think Avery was necessarily going to make the team, but this probably seals the deal for either Casey Tuhill or Joe Osman making the squad at this point. The Eagles also put tight end Josh Perkins on injured reserve, freeing up Noah Tuongai, the undrafted free agent from uh, Oregon State, to potentially make the roster as the number three tight end. We'll have everything covered from this practice and more on NJ.com in the sports section. I'm Mike K. I'll see you.